All right, this is a very special SpeedEats.com video. We're near Dover International Speedway in Delaware, but as you can tell, we're not on the track. We're in the water. We're going crabbing, baby. Today, we're on the Lipsick River in Delaware, hanging out with a family that has been fishing these waters for over 40 years. You know, crabbing's good. You know, we just that's how we make our living here. And uh, we actually do eeling, we do oystering, we do clamming, we catch fish. I mean, we do it, whatever's in the water swimming around, we'll, we'll go catch it and make some money off of it. Well, the pleasant is they've been in business for 40 years. Now, this is a way of life for a lot of people out here on the shores, catching crab, catching fish, the whole fishing industry. I'll tell you what, it is absolutely gorgeous out here. A lot of people are stuck inside an office all day. Yeah, yeah. We get the luxury of coming out here and getting aired out every day, catching crabs, fish, clams, oysters, you name it, we catch them. It's just nice to get out and go have like a ball sit over your shoulder every day. It's nice. It's refreshing. And this is the great part about it. It's a family operation here with Pleasanton Seafood. All right, here's my crew. This is my expert crabbers. This is Trevor and this is Nathan. These guys are my crabbers. How long have you been crabbing? Eight years. Eight years? How old are you? Eight. <laughs> He's been crabbing for his whole life. <laughs> How old are you? Four. You're four? Are you going to catch some crabs today? Yeah. High five. Woo. All right, bud, I'm hungry and I want some crabs. We're out here on the water, it's beautiful. What's up next? We'll get uh, Trevor to hook us up a uh, cork here. We'll pull up a pot and see what kind of crabs we got in them. Hopefully there's some big jimmies in them. All right, we're catching the crabs right now. They just pulled it out, put it on a pulley. Hook it up here. Oh, uh, now the moment we've all been waiting for. Think we got some crabs? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that, boys. Some beautiful crabs there. What type of crabs we got there? We got some jimmies, number ones. Number one. Those are gonna taste good. <laughs> They're mad? Oh, so that guy is mad at me. That guy is not happy. Thank you. As you can tell, the crew's taking care of me. I'm, I'm the greenhorn of the bunch. Just getting in the way. Actually staying out of the way so I don't fall in. <laughs> All right, this right here. Can you believe I'm not getting bitten, buddy? This right here is the Delaware Blue Claw Crab, and he's trying really hard to bite me. He doesn't realize that in just maybe a half an hour or so, I'm gonna eat this guy. Ooh, look at those claws. Arr. And where do all these beautiful Delaware Blue Claw crabs go? They go right here to Pleasanton Seafood, right down the road from Dover International Speedway. scenes look back in the Pleasanton's kitchen. All right, to make beautiful plates like this, you need a lot of seasoning. How, how much seasoning do you have? What, in my store right now? Yeah. 4,000 pounds. 4,000 pounds? Yes. 4,000 pounds. That's shrimp seasoning. It's a different blend. Shrimp that seasoning? Less salt. Yeah. A less salt, and that's the crab seasoning. Yes. That's a lot of seasoning. A lot of seasoning. The crabs that you caught, this is where we bring them. Oh yeah, this is where I want to be on a nice hot summer day. Let's do it. Okay, so these are the male crabs. Uh -huh. And then what do we do here? Put them in the, we call it a shocker. It's a shocker. A shocker, yeah. We actually shock these crabs. Turn on the button. Turn on the button. And folks, they are technically being shocked right now. What does that do again? 
keeps their claws and legs on while they're steaming. Ah, huh, that's pretty interesting. All right, now off to the steamer we go with these puppies, letting yeah. them drain a little bit. Uh -huh. Look at all those crabs. Mm. This is a pretty big steamer. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Nice knowing you. It's fun hanging out on the water with you. That's the most right. important part, right? The most important part. Oh, yeah. Turn it on. I think it's a little hot in there. Oh, baby, it's time to eat. Oh, it's a beautiful day in Dover, Delaware. And I'm just chilling out outside on the front deck at Pleasanton Seafood. It's a seafood market, and they have some benches inside that if you order some of the cooked items, you can eat the food in there. But heck, I'm sitting out here. It's a good takeout type place, so you can eat it in your car or you can eat it out here. I'm eating crabs, so I'm not eating it in the car because that would be very messy. Check this out, folks. We got two crabs. Oh, look at all that seasoning and some crab balls. They tell me the crab balls here are really, really good. Hey, I remember you. You caught me in the boat. <laughs> now I'm going to eat you. All right, this is my favorite part here, the cracker. Enjoying some crabs here in crab country. I mean, we are pretty close to Maryland, and this is a treat. Eating outside a little seafood restaurant, a little seafood market having some fresh crab. I'll tell you what, the seasoning, awesome. And these crab balls, they are so, so tasty. Mm. All right, I might need new sponsorship for a camera. Because <clears throat> you see my hands, what they look like right now? All that seasoning on it? You should see this camera. It's a mess. All right, I thought it was the Lipstick River I was on. It is, but we say Crick. Crick? Not creek. Not creek. A crick. Crick. I thought we were in the north. Crick sounds southern. We're a little southern. <laughs> <laughs> All right, an interesting little factoid about Pleasanton Seafood. The place is family owned and operated, but it's run by the women in the family. The women say the guys get in the way, so they make them go out on the boats and go fishing and crabbing. The girls keep it real here in the kitchen. Pleasanton Seafood. You got to go to it. You know why? because they're the underdog. All the crab places around here, you kidding me? Sambo's, Boondocks. But this place, the reason you should come here is because it's family run and it's unique. I mean, where else can you go to like a takeout fish market? I mean, that's pretty darn cool. So I'm leaving here with a full belly, some crab seasoning, and the most importantly, with my mallet.